Okay, let's look at some of these other routers. These other routers are still auto summarizing. It's just this router that's not. So let's take a look at this router, and I want to point something out about its routing table. Now, we have these three networks here. And network 5, I want to point something out. Network 5 is the 228 network. And so this router has two paths to get to the 228 network. It's got this way, and it's got this way. And these are serial links at 128K. So each one of these serial links is 128 kilobits per second, right? So we're going to look at this routing table now. Take a look at it. And you can see that this router, if we look at the routing table, you can see that it's got a null zero route also, summary route that's causing problems probably. And but I wanted to point out that its route to the 228 network has two paths. There's the serial two path and there's the serial three path. What this means is that EIGRP, right, is equal cost load balancing out of both of, uh, of these interfaces, right? So that's on by default, equal cost load balancing. You can see the administrative distance is 90, and they both have the same composite metric, right? This is the feasible distance. So equal cost load balancing in effect, right? And, and we've also got some problems here with the null zero, right? So let's take a look at this. So we'll do a sh show IP EIGRP topology command and this will help us to look at the topology table, the topology database basically. So show IP EIGRP topology and the results you can see here um, you can see that to the 228 network there are two successors and the feasible distance, there's that metric again, and then each path, right? Well, what is a successor? A successor is the neighbor router that has the, a better path or the best path to the destination network. So there are two neighboring routers with a better path or a better distance to the 228 network, and you can see them here, and they have equal cost. Well. Well, why is that? We have two successor routes. We don't have any feasible successors or any backup routes, right? And if you look at all these other routes, they all show one successor, right? So the next hop router with the best distance to the network. So one successor, one successor, one successor. These are all the best path to the given destination, and the successor is the next hop router with a better distance, right? a better reported distance to the network. You see one successor feasible distance is this, right? Okay, so we can play with that and change that, right? And essentially like what if this link is 128k and this one's 128k, but what if we change this link to 64k? So this interface is serial 3 so what I'm going to do is I'll go into this router and I'm going to do a couple of things. All right. First of all, I'll do a conf t and what I want to do right off the bat is do a router eigrp1 and I want to turn off no auto summary to get rid of that null route. Okay. So I'm doing that right off the bat. Now what I'm going to do is go back to global config mode and I'm going to go to interface serial 3 slash 0 and I'm going to change the bandwidth on that interface band width to 64k right making the link slower essentially right and you can see here that we've got some changes here and so what I did was change this interface to 64k instead of 128k Let's do the same thing on this router. So on this router, same thing. What we'll do is we'll do enable, go to global config mode, interface. This interface is serial 2 slash 0, and change the bandwidth to 64. Okay. 
and um, whoops, I've got to just go into the serial interface first, and then I need to put in the bandwidth. So first I type interface serial 2 slash 0 and then bandwidth. And now what we have is this interface is now a 64K interface, right? So now there's no longer equal speeds, right? Let's take a look at this router and see how that changes in the routing table. So in the routing table, if we look at show IP route, you can see that there is now no longer two paths to the 228 network. There's no longer equal cost load balancing happening because there's no equal cost. This route is 128K and this one's 64K, so this is the better route, right? And it's to the next hop router, which is network 4, right? Which is 226. Uh, and let's see if that is indeed the case via 226. And there's the next hop interface. So now it's taking that path out. Also, if we look at show IP EIGRP topology and look at our topology table, you can see now that on the 228 we've got a one successor route, so one best router, right? There's our successor right there. And then here are feasible successors and for some reason it's showing the same feasible successor or the same backup route twice. And the reason that we're having this problem is that this router has no auto summary in effect, but this router we never did that. So what we need to do is turn that off. So we'll go to this router and we'll do a no, uh, well we first have to do router EIGRP1 right and then no a tab auto summary all right and that's better and what I'm going to do is I'm also going to do that here on this router no auto summary right no auto summary on that router and now if we go back and look at that topology table one more time, let's see here, we'll put in the command again, you'll see that now to the 228 network there's one successor route, right, which means one best path or one router with a better distance and then there's a backup or feasible successor right here the feasible successor is right here and you can see that its distance is not as good so it's a backup route so you've got the feasible distance here right and then here's the feasible distance here and then this is this routers reported distance right and then this backup path the feasible successor that's his feasible distance and then this is his reported distance right there and so now you can see the successor and feasible successor if we open up this router and I hit enter and I type enable, we could also run a show IP EIGRP topology and we could even do an all links. Now in all links, a show IP EIGRP topology all links will show us additional routes if there were additional routes beyond a successor route, beyond feasible successor routes, if there was additional routes they would show up here. Also we could do a show IP protocols to see a little more information about EIGRP and you can see here that with a show IP protocols command we can see the um, the process ID right we can see the um, EIGRP metric weights, right? You can see the, the K weights. K1 is bandwidth, right? K3 is delay. 
um, we can see the EIGRP maximum hop count of 100. Now hop count is in fact a uh, vector, um, but it's not used in calculating the best routes or calculating the composite metrics for all the different routes. Um, let's see here. We can see here that we have network summarization not in effect. So we can see that this router does not have auto summarization in effect. Right? Um, the networks that we're routing for, and you can see the distance. What else? Um, internal routes are an administrative distance of 90, external 170. Um, so anyway, that's the show IP protocols command.